Please forgive us. As I speak, I'm going to ask the white Americans in the room to please repeat after me. <clears throat> on behalf of myself and on behalf of my country, to you and all African Americans, from the beginning of our nation's history, in honor of your ancestors and on behalf of your children. Please hear this from my heart. I apologize. Please forgive us. With this prayer, I acknowledge the depth of the evils that have been perpetrated against black people in America. From slavery, to lynchings, to white supremacist laws, to the denial of voting rights, to all the ways, both large and small, all of them evil, all of them wrong, for all the oppression, and all of the injustices. I apologize. Please forgive us for the denial of any civil rights, for inequalities in criminal justice, to any instances of police brutality, to the denial of opportunity for economic injustice, for any ways that a racial element has played into the perpetration of injustice. I apologize. Please forgive us. Emancipation Proclamation, the 13th Amendment, which abolishes slavery. A presidential pen could end, and a constitutional amendment could end, the, the evil institution. But racism didn't end. You can't, no presidential pen or constitutional amendment could eradicate racism. It could eradicate the institution, which was a manifestation of that. There are certain things the government's not going to do, so where does it begin? It begins with us, and that begins with atonement.